What's up, Bakugan fans? It's D Hart. Here's the second Bakugan Legends collection pack that I found yesterday at Walmart. Two of two. I don't know that there are more than this right now out in stores. This one has Nilius, Nova Pyrus Nilius. It looks to me like it's a new mold. Uh, they also have an older mold, Year 2, Hydrus Ultra, that they reprinted. They have a Cycloid, Hail Cycloid, and another Pyrus Arcleon, their favorite Pyrus Geogon. <laughs> Here's what they look like on the back. Hydrus is coming with Baku gear, so a cool gear that goes on the back, two other ones on the side. We're going to find out what that gear card is, but new products in store, so I'm going to crack this open. We're going to see who is strong for the Bakugan Pro trading card game. All right, here we go. Here are the contents of the pack. We've got Hydrus Ultra. I'm going to start with him. So this was a mold from year two, Armored Elite. They redid it. I like these colors a lot more than year two. I can already tell. I don't remember exactly what year two looks like. I'll go grab him in a second, but this dark blue with this sort of teal blue is awesome. Um, oh, there we go. That's what he's looking like with this gear on the back. I don't remember what this gear is called. Something wings, I think, right? Uh, but that's cool. That's cool. You don't need him for the game, but it is a really cool aesthetic. Here's Hale Cyclops. Did I say Cyclops? I meant Cycloid. <laughs> There we go, 600 base B. We have Arcleon, 900 B. I wonder if this is a reprint. You can tell the colors are different. There's like three versions of this guy. Uh, he has black horns with a deeper red, I think. That's different. Um, but yeah, we'll see if the card's different. And then we have Nova Nilius. So what's going on with him? Does his feet? No, that's how it's supposed to stay. Okay. Two heads, pretty cool. And he's light up, so pull out the battery. And he's lighting up for us. Usually it's a spring. Well, let's see if we can close him. We'll, we'll roll him open that way. Okay, so the feet flip up first. Get the heads in, heads back, neck back. There, okay tail last. So let's roll him. Let's see what he looks like. Grab a core. Three away. His light is not as strong and well placed as the Pegatrix, I don't think, uh, from my last video. Ventus Nova Pegatrix. A little bit weaker looking. Um, what is it? Okay, I like the design though. It's sort of cool, sort of cool. Okay, so there's all the toys. Let's see what comes in the package. I didn't look at this last time, this piece of paper, but I looked at it after the video and it's just hilarious to me. It tells you how to close them, but like every single language in existence, they print on this piece of paper. <laughs> this is just, this is crazy, why? Okay, here are the cores. Looks like we have some Fire Fists, Dream Fist, Magic Shield, and two shields. Okay, well, that's what we get. Here's the Gate Card 1, Gate Card 2. I've seen those before. Oh, can't wait to see what we have. Okay, so one of these is the Geogon. One is the Gear Card. The Gear Card is the most exciting to me. Who's gonna be first? Ultra Hydrus, 600B, two damage, coming with two shields, and there's that icon. If he lands on a shield, you get to do something with a Baku Gear card, and we're gonna look at that in a second. We don't know if it means to play it for free, play a Baku Gear card for free, if you play it for two less, for one less, or for however many less you and your opponent can uh, decide on. <laughs> uh, we don't have a ruling for it, so it's weird, but... Uh, it's gonna mean something eventually if they ever reboot the TCG and tell us what it means. But um, on his own, he's gonna get up to 
a thousand B and get that gear something bonus. Um, so depending on what that bonus is, it would make Ultra Hydrus strong. Then we have Cycloid. What's he got going? Magic Shield and a Green Fist. He gets 400 B and four damage on a Green Fist. So I think a Magic Shield is still gonna be better to use if you wanna win B power with this Cycloid. Uh, but this would be 550 plus 600 is 1150 and five plus four is 1150 and nine. That's a lot of damage while you're going for B power and damage, the balance between the two. If you go for just B power, he's 1250 and that's nothing special at all. So you wouldn't use him for that. Um, damage wins, if you're gonna play the Midas Indius or Mac card and go for damage wins, you could, where's my Hales boost? You could land on something like this. What would you be at? You would be at six plus four is 10 damage and 1100 B. 1100B, 10 damage. Um, it's balanced. The B power is actually really, really low. 1100 is really low, competitive. But the damage is, is good, 10. But when people are doing damage wins, they're gonna have a lot more than 10 damage on you. I would think so. He's balanced, but he's on a really low side of being balanced. Uh, I don't know about him. Competitively. Ooh, no Vanillius, look at this. Look at this, he's got two legs and uh, two arms. His form has changed so much in this reboot. Two heads, um, it's cool, it's different. I usually see him with four legs, right? Well, maybe not year two. Actually year one and year two had two legs, huh? Anyway, 800B, three damage, two fire fists. Um, so he's actually nothing special at all. B power on his own cores, he's 1050 and six. That's bad. If he gets a uh, damage wins and gets up to nine, that's still not competitive enough. But you could try, you could try. Um, and then he has two fire fists, so it's not like he has a magic shield that he can balance B power with 14, 50, and three, and damage wins. So uh, he's a cool light up Bakugan, but pro trading card game competitive wise, I don't see why you would use this Nellius. Ooh, then we're gonna have the gear, so let's do him last. <laughs> All right, Arcleon, one energy, 900B, two damage, and on a Fire Fist, you take your opponent's core. Um, so let's think about that. You're gonna be up to 1150 and five, and your opponent won't have a core. And that's actually really cool, because by the time you're playing a Geogon card, all the rolling is over with, um, I guess your opponent can still play a reroll card and try to get a core, but all the, the core trigger effects that happen off the rolls, well, I guess again, if they're playing a reroll card, those would still go off, so I don't know. I was gonna think this is a good counter for a lot of those plays, but it is what it is. You're gonna pay one energy, get up to 1150 and five. You could be 150 B over your opponent if their Bakugan had a thousand B base. So this is cool, I'm glad it costs one. Uh, it hurts, because you're actually, you could be stealing their core, you could steal their fire fist, they wouldn't have a core. So it's a core steal for one, and you still have a good value return, because it only costs one. Uh, you know, one energy to be above your opponent in B power. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I like Arcleon. I think it works for the trading card game, but there's a lot more that we could go into on this guy for sure. And then we have Wings of Aquos, the gear. There it is, they have the symbols. Oh no, never mind. The last gear had a bonus of 600B on a helix, so this is different. Oh, this is gonna be crazy then. Two energy, you put it onto a Bakugan, he gets 301 for two energy. That is so strong. So in the past, a strong gear has been like, it'll give you 200B for the energy cost, you know, 200 for two energy. And if it was really, really strong, it'd be two energy for 200B and two damage. So they've kind of flipped it a little bit. They gave you an extra 100B and one less damage, but B power for more than the energy cost on a gear is awesome. That's so strong. And not only that, but if this is attached to your, anybody, doesn't have to be Hydrus, right? But if it's attached to one of your Bakugan, 
when he lands on a gear, you get to add, or when he lands on a shield, you get to add a core from the field. So this is nuts. So if this was the play, we land on, well, let's start like this. We land on this shield and we're at a thousand. We get to play a gear for whatever this is supposed to mean, two less. And this costs two, so then we play the gear for free. This isn't how it really works, but this is how, this is an interpretation. You play the gear for free. So he's at a thousand, he's at 1300. And I guess you wouldn't get this bonus off the first roll because you've already rolled and you already have this on. I think this means when you land on a shield. So you'd have to play this, you'd be at 1303. Then the next time you play Ultra Hydrus, you could roll uh, onto this same core. You'd be at a thousand plus 300 is 1300. And then you add a core from the field because then you get this bonus and you're still getting this bonus. So you could attach a second Baku gear for perhaps two less, but you're also picking up a core from the field. So you steal your opponent's magic shield. You're at 1300 plus 650 is 1950 and three, you put on a second Baku gear that could be whatever it is, who knows? 200, 300, 400, you could be like 22, 23, 50, um, and have stolen, I don't know, cores galore <laughs> playing gears for way less. This is crazy. The implications of what this card and these symbols uh, and this symbol could mean in the pro trading card game are wild. It could be fun to change things up. I know the game is getting a little unwieldy, it seems like. We don't have any rulings anymore. They sort of put the, not sort of, they did put the trading card game on hiatus, so um, we don't even know what any of this means. They're just printing stuff. They're just making products to make it, not telling us how to use it. So it, it could be crazy. It's kind of exciting. I like the change. You know, this game's not um, going on officially anyways right now. We're just buying it for the toys for the most part, so it is what it is. But these toys are cool. The light up Bakugan are cool. I like this Hydrus. I was gonna go back and look and see what the other color is uh, from year two Hydrus of this mold. So I'm gonna grab him really quick. All right, here he is. Oh, it's not that much different. I said I liked the one on the left a lot better, but it's not that much different. I feel like the blue, I like the blue better. It's a deeper, deeper blue. Okay, there we go. So let me know what you all think out of the two packs that I opened, this pack and the previous video, which one do you like better from Bakugan Evolutions? Which Bakugan do you think are stronger? The gears, the colors, the light up? If you had to choose between the two, which one would you pick? Ventus Pegatrix Nova, Nova Pegatrix, or Pyrus Nova Nilius?